Hey guys, this is Annie Noodle, and um, I am working on other videos for you right now, but my time is very short this week, so I'm resorting to doing this art haul, which is fine, right? Because everybody likes art hauls. I like art hauls. I love watching other people look at stuff um, and pretending like that keeps me from buying it, right? Because you already have it. I don't need one. Yeah, okay, so let's get going. Lots of this is focused on sculpting and mold making. I'm really excited to get into this. Um, I did have one box come from Amazon that I opened. That's why this is already out. Because um, I just wanted to make sure there was nothing leaking. So this is silicone. And this is a pour silicone. So that I can make molds out of this. And this is a putty silicone. So basically you just go burp, 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 burp and stick the two pieces together and you blop them onto something and then wait for it to set and then you can make a mold. You can kind of see how you're supposed to use it there. Um, I thought I'd start with something like this to see how, to get, get used to it a little bit and then move on to something that I'd pour, you know, uh, to actually try to, try to take things in stages for once instead of jumping in like a crazy woman. Yeah, like one does. Um, what's in this box? Oh, okay. So this is a resin kit. <sighs> so I have done a little bit of experimenting with UV resin and of course went, how about I just buy a whole bunch of stuff so that I can make uh, resin casts and I have some really fun ideas of what I want to make that have to do with other stuff that I bought. <laughs> um... So these are handmade molds I got off of Etsy, and they are little crystals, and this is cat hair. Ooh, and this is cat hair. I was just petting a cat, so the hair's everywhere. But aren't these neat looking? Uh, yeah, so these are little crystal molds that I got off of Etsy. They're not very big, but I have this really neat idea for how to use them. Here, I'll, get it right. I'll, I'll show you. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this at Michael's too, and I'm sad that there was only one because I would have gotten more than one. Um, the bottom is metal and it opens up like this. Uh, I want to call it a cloche, but that also sounds like a hat. Is it both? And then I want it to be a cloister, but I think cloister is a Pokemon. So glass dome thing. Um, I thought it would be really cool to like make a... Um, I don't know, maybe like a dragon or a phoenix in here and then have it surrounded by little crystals growing at the bottom all over that are cast in resin. But the, the dragon itself is going to be sculpted um, out of stuff uh, like cosplay and and like this other thing that I got that I'll get to in a second. So that's these. They look like good molds. I I don't know though. I haven't used them yet. Guys, look at how cute this is. Look at how cute this is. <laughs> so this is one of the things that I want to do with these giant buckets of resin that I got. It's a cool idea. I'm not going to tell you what it is till I do it, though. But it involves multicolored little gummy things in lots of resin. So, ma. This is really fun to play with. Also, I kind of want to just make a whole bunch of gummy jewelry. Like, I don't even... I've tried to get into jewelry making so many times, and I just... I'm not that person. But I always, like, buy stuff, and I'm like, ooh, I could make jewelry out of this. And then it just gets given to somebody else, so... But those are for other things, so they're not going to get given away. Uh, this is a, another silicone mold. Isn't that really cool? And I just want this to use as, like, a kind of background... So that when I want kind of fancy, interesting looking backgrounds when I'm sculpting. Because I want to start doing relief sculpting. So I want to be able to like just kind of smush clay into this and take it out and then I'll have a background. I mean, you know, maybe a little bit nicer than what I said there. <laughs> uh, but I, that's what I also got these for. And I got these at a thrift store. I don't think I've shown these to you before. But like I just want them for background textures. When I'm working with clay, 
just to look at all the cat hair. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. I have no regrets. Cats are everywhere. Everywhere. Um, and then for this, I haven't opened this yet. Get out of the way, box of resin. I actually can't remember what's in this box now that I'm about to open it. <laughs> I admit I went on a little bit of a spree. It wasn't even Black Friday, I don't think. It was just like, I want to get into sculpting, so I started buying all the stuff that I need. Oh, yeah! This is epoxy sculpt. So, um, there is a different version of epoxy sculpt. I mean, not a version. Uh, there's a different version of a two-part resin air dry clay called Magic Sculpt, and I wanted to get that. In, um, it comes in a five pound set like this. This is a four pound set, so it's a little bit bigger, but um, it they ran out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So this is, I don't know, like, um, I feel like it dries harder and I feel like I have to worry less about it being brittle than with um, Sculpey. Yeah. So yeah, that's just the big version of this. Which is the big version of these. Yeah, isn't that fun? Like I have like... <laughs> well, I think it's amusing. Okay, what else did I get? Okay, because I'm going to be working with resin and I occasionally try to be intelligent about things, I got a respirator. And I got a respirator that has a separate mask because I wear glasses, so I try to not wear masks over my eyes when I don't have to. But yeah. Wow. Plus, I feel like if I ever like want to upgrade into a nicer respirator, I could like upcycle this one into like the beginnings of a Tuscan Raider costume. Yeah, I bet I could. Anyway, so this is a respirator because when you work with resin or when you sand things, protect your lungs. It's a good plan. It looks like a little happy dude. Hello. Uh, I would show you a picture of me wearing it, but uh, clearly I don't know how to put it together yet. And uh, did I mention that I don't have a lot of time <laughs> right now? Yep, that's all that's going back in that box. And then... There's something in here. Uh-oh. Oh no! No, it's a paper floofy one. No! Okay. <gasps> no! Stuff just goes everywhere. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at all the cool little eye beads. Why did I get these? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. They just look so fun. Oh, hi, Tiny. These are tiny. Don't step on that. Let's put the dagger thing away so we don't hurt the cat. Okay. All right. And so then, I also got this at a thrift store. Um, <laughs> it's huge. Uh, I know you're supposed to, like, do weird yarn things with it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this beautiful, weird thing that I've never seen before. But, I mean, it was four bucks. So, I'm excited to do something with that. Okay, and then I got one more thing at a thrift store that I'm really excited about. I mean, I found a bunch of other stuff, but this is the... <laughs> you get to see this one. Isn't that great? It's a tiny stool! And it folds up and it's so cute! Guys, comment if you think the stool is cute. 
Um, it's got a little thingy so you can like hook it up onto your wall if you want. Um, and I don't know why I bought it, but I know what I'm going to use it for. Okay, so I forgot to include this one last thing that I got. Um, I just got this case, and in it is my birthday present that I don't think I ever showed you guys. Um, I've been looking for a case for it because it didn't come with one. And it is also a sculpting supply because it's a Dremel. I'm so excited I've never gotten to use one, and now I finally have time. My birthday was in October, and I have not touched it, and it is now December 3rd, I think. So I'm really excited. So clearly this is also to help me with sculpting. Um, and yes, it, it does amuse me that it's in this ridiculous glitter case <laughs> but it fits in there really well so that's nice <laughs> so i just wanted to thank you for sticking around to the end of the video um i like i said have a couple of videos that i'm already working on that are actually me doing art again i really miss doing art i really Honestly, you have basically seen all the art that I've done in the last two months. I have had no time at all to do art because I've been working on other things, uh, working at my day job and then working on building up my business, which is part of being an artist. It's just not as fun as actually doing the art. So uh, I appreciate you sticking around to the end. I wanted to let you know that this is probably going to be my last haul video for at least six months. I am putting myself in an official no buy for art supplies, except for small things that pertain to a project that I am working on. Like, hey, I wanna sculpt this snake thing and I don't have armature wire that's thick enough to hold my sculpture in place when I need it to. Okay, I can buy that, but that is it. I am not buying things just for fun and to have around or because I see them. That's the plan. Hopefully that goes okay. <laughs> no, it's going to be fine. Uh, I'm going to do great at this. <laughs> and I'm going to save my money and pay off my um, super fancy computer that I just bought for editing. So you guys have interesting editing stuff to look forward to in my future videos once I have figured out how all that works. I'm really looking forward to getting into that side of things. So. Uh, yeah. Happy December, guys. Uh, happy winter. I just can't stop talking. Okay, bye.